Hey there! Do you want to set up your home when you don't know how to start? You want to go from like ah uh, to ah? Uh, this video is going to teach you exact steps that you need to take to take go from overwhelm to relaxing on your couch in your beautiful living room. I'm Kayla Goldstein. I'm an interior designer. I'm focused on making mom's lives easier and better with relaxing surroundings without breaking their watch and hopefully not breaking their bank. If you like this video, if it's helpful, go ahead, subscribe. You'll get more every week. I post every Monday, sometimes Tuesday, like today. Um, every one of, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna break it down. Every one of these steps are gonna be broken down into their own videos since otherwise this would take like above the limited time on YouTube. But here's the overview with a few quick explanations. So first step you're gonna do is you're gonna take your space and you're gonna break it down into small spaces. You're gonna break it down according to size and layout of the room into different spaces that you are going to design. So if you have this big living room, you're gonna have the couch area and the bookcase area. If you have a big bedroom, the bed area and the closet area. You just break it down into areas. You're gonna ask yourself five important questions which are gonna to link to different videos eventually. Sorry, this is a new channel. But if you're watching after, it's not new anymore. The links will be in the description. Um, and these are the five questions. What function do you want the room to have? What are you gonna use the room for? It could be more than one, just make sure that they complement each other. Um, what do you like about the room? What is in the room currently that you love, that makes you happy? What do you dislike about the room? What do you like or dislike just in general? Like when you walk, when you, when you think about homes, what, do you, what makes you happy, what makes you not happy? And what is your budget? Which is a very important one. And you need to stick to it. Next, you're gonna choose a style. So you want to think about what you want to feel in the room. So if it's a bedroom, you want to feel relaxed and cozy. So you want to think about what you want to feel, and then you want to think about what makes you feel that. And then, like, let's say if you want to feel cozy, so a big, yummy couch that you can just sink into. And then you're going to go and figure out what style includes that, which is also going to be a video about all the different styles and what they include and how to choose your own. Next, you're going to choose a color palette. So you're going to think about the emotions. Again, kind of like feelings, but not so much physical, more like emotional feelings that you want to feel in this room. You're going to think about what colors, and you're going to link to the video that talks about colors, and you're going to think about the colors that promote those emotions. You're going to go to the color wheel, and you're going to do this thing called 60, 30, 10. So you're going to have 60% is going to be your base color. 30% is going to be your complementary color and 10% is going to be your accent color and now what you're going to do is you're going to take the color that you want to feel that's on the color wheel you're going to take 30% which is the color that's directly across the color on the color wheel and the 10% which is your accent is going to be one that's directly next to the one of those two colors and that's how you pick your color palette there you have a color palette and now you're going to once you have the use, the style, the color palette, your budget and all that, you're gonna take everything out of the room, take it all out. This way your brain will be open and you'll be able to um, imagine what can be in this room without being constricted by what your brain already sees in the room. And then you're gonna go shopping, but you're gonna go shopping in your own home. You're gonna go shopping all around your house and I want you guys to like find something that has the same style, same color, and can be used in the room and put it in the room because this will save your budget. I even want you to comment below. I want you to tell me what you found in your house or what you're thinking of right now because I know you're thinking of stuff that you can put in your room that will work that you don't have to buy. And now you're going to write down once everything's in your room, you're going to write down a shopping list of the stuff that you weren't able to find in your house that you don't already have that you need to buy. And you're going to go shopping but you're gonna go shopping with that shopping list and you're not gonna buy anything that's not on the shopping list. Um, it might be difficult, but try. You can go to some places like Home Goods or Target or thrift stores to find budget-free friendly items. I wouldn't suggest going to like these fancy home decor shops, but if you go shopping with just your style shopping list, then you will not go over budget. And when you go shopping, I want you to go shopping with your style checklist, which you'll get in the style video, and you make sure that everything you buy fits into your style so that there's no buyer's remorse. Now, when you get home, you have all the stuff, you went shopping in your house, you have the style, you have the color, and everything, you're going to set it up. So you're going to think about how it's going to be used, you're going to think about how people are going to walk around the room, what they're going to go to, and what they're going to do, and you're going to make sure that those 
our pathways. You're going to have pathways, you're going to have flow, you're going to have areas, designated areas to do things, and you're going to make sure that they're conducive to those areas. And then you're going to look around and you're going to see some empty spaces and you're going to accent them. You're going to make sure that you're not cluttering. You're going to put one or maybe two items in each place. Um, if you have a bunch of knickknacks, you can like cluster them to make it into one big thing. But you're going to make sure that you have accents, but it's not cluttered. You don't want any like completely bare spaces because then it just looks like you didn't finish. But you, you, you don't want anything too cluttered. So maybe like one, maybe, maybe two um, accent pieces. And that's it. So check the description for the links for all the videos that I mentioned. And like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.